Lady Lily, back with another video. Oh crap, my light just came on. Damn it, I gotta go get some gas. And I don't, I don't think I'm gonna make it to my preferred gas station. Damn it. I thought that will come on. Damn it. I mean, I go to the gas station before I go to the bank. Anyway, car talk with Lady Lily. Car talk with Lady Lily on a Friday. I might have to do this in two parts. So we're going to get on with the get on. Today is Friday, August 31st. Um, they will be holding the funeral services for Aretha Franklin. Um, they've been having her um, body on display all week. And um, she uh, was a member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. So they had their memorial service um, for her as well. So um, the service is expected to be uh, long as hell. They said the schedule, uh, the program is from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Or is it 9.30 to 3.30? One of those. But that is a long as time some of the performers the celebrities that are scheduled to perform is stevie wonder jennifer hudson the clark sisters um fantasia ronald isley uh and many more um patty labelle was asked to perform but she said she is busy um and won't be able to do so td jakes is going to um do a scripture reading and um i forgot who they said is gonna do the eulogy um jasper williams i think and um bill clinton is expected to come eric dyson and a bunch of celebrity um people and um detroit and michigan government and officials will be there so yeah they've um they uh, actually the picture's been surfacing around. They had her kicked up um, in the casket with her, like her legs kicked up and she on red pumps and they had her feet crossed like a diva. And they said they, since then, they have changed her outfit. So she has, uh, Rita Franklin has had wardrobe changes. I guess I'm gonna have to go over this hill and get some gas cause I don't play when the light gas come on. The gas light come on, I try to, going to get gas right away even though this spot ain't gonna be this is not my spot and it's probably gonna be a rip off for gas too so um yeah and then you all know john mccain um uh, passed away you know he's a political figure um his um service is saturday and um Barack Obama and George H.W. Bush have been asked to eulogize the um, uh, Mr. McCain and um, it was a request and the arrangements that he did not want 45 to be in attendance so yeah so and they said uh, 45 has yet to be has yet to speak at a funeral I guess as the current president so anyway, Gucci Man um, is in the news right now because his ex is asking for an increase in his child support. Currently, Gucci Man is paying $2,026.34 a month in child support. He, um, his ex-girlfriend is asking for $20,000 a month based on the fact that he paid 1.7 million for his uh, wedding to uh, to his marriage wedding ceremony to Keisha Kalor and he has garnered a lot of revenue since he has been released from jail. So good luck with that. Um, but Gucci Man has also um, offered um, he's 38 years old. He graduated out of high school in 1998, like I did. And he has um, agreed to pay for his high school class reunion. Um, he graduated from some high school in Atlanta. And he was telling everybody just to come on and come forth because um, he um, is going to pay for um, them to get together. I had my 
Clarence reunion back in June, at the end of June. Um, it was really nice. So I wish Gucci Man would have came out of our class and paid for our stuff because we could have did a lot. So, um, yeah. Okay, okay, I'm back. I had to get gas. Let's see. Damn, a few more dollars. I was a few. I swear. I mean, I be driving too much, doing the most. Anyway, we're going to get on there. So, we talked about Gucci Mane. Yeah. So, he's offered to pay for his class reunion. So, I did not realize Gucci Gucci Man was in my age range. He's um, 38 years old. I will be 38 in September. So, I'm excited. Um, excited about 38 because, you know, 8 is the sign of new beginning. So, I'm hoping 38 will be a sign of new beginning. So, moving right along with these TV shows. Um, I watch Basketball Wives on Monday. And the girls are in uh, Amsterdam because, you know, Shawnee's there on business to explore her, you know, weed, you know, shop stuff for her weed shop, dispensary or whatever. So, anyway... Um, CC and Evelyn gets into it. You all saw that. Um, and she called Evelyn Evil Land, which um, I don't necessarily agree with that because, you know, Evelyn can be a little evil. Um, and then Evelyn turns around and calls um, CC Lily. And she's looking confused and she's saying, Malaysia, so she mean Lili from the nail shop, meaning the Asians. And everybody was saying how none of the ladies called Evelyn out on that. That was racist. That was a racist statement. That's like saying, you know, when people say, you know, refer to all Asian women as Yoko Ono. That's, 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 that's wrong. That is totally wrong. And then I know Beautiful Soul Speaks. Um, I watched her videos. She was saying how she was just baffled how none of the ladies called her out on that. It was like they said it as an afterthought in their confessionals. But, yeah, that was wrong. So, of course, that caused a lot of, um, and you know, these shows I take way in advance. So, that caused a lot of uproar. And they, I mean, the people went to the air, air um, went to social media. They went online. And they were simply um, asking for, um, they put out a petition. They was asking for 1,000 signatures um, for um, Shani to put Evelyn off of the um, basketball wives. And let me tell you this, they was only maybe two or three hours in. They was already surpassed 500 plus um put uh, signatures so i'm sure they probably met they go i haven't went back and checked the updates but uh they was like no uh evelyn needs to get off the damn show because that was rude so evelyn trying to do damage control she goes online and writes an apology and she also does a video um i think the video was half-assed I think she just did it for damage control. I mean, it was just, you know, she, you know, Glenn, uh, Evelyn tends to look, always, you know, be be dressed for the scene. And even if it's a chill moment, she looks nice chill. She got a baseball cap on. She just looking like she don't give a you-know-what. And it's like, let me just put this video out here um, just because. So, um... So, yeah, she just put that out there as damage control because, you know, um, if somebody, they know the power of viewership and, you know, we have put, um, put petitions out before and, and got shows shut down and shut off. So, um, so she went, you know, trying so she can save her position. And then what I hate about her is she's talking about some please forgive me, I'm still learning and growing. Well, how much fucking longer you, excuse my language, how much you got to learn and grow? Give me one second. Hmm. 
you know, how much you got to learn and fucking grow? Excuse me. I mean, you keep saying, I'm learning, I'm learning, but you keep going back and doing stuff. You keep saying, you keep saying you, you got to, you got to, um, learn and grow and, but you keep doing stuff, Evelyn. I, you know, I tell people, I don't really feel sorry for her because like you keep seeing athletes, you keep going after athletes, you know? And then you keep going after athletes. Maybe you just need the average Joe. Or maybe you just need to sit and be alone. Then she was, um, when Cece, she tried to um, dog Cece out about the whole job situation. So, okay, and that makes me piss the hell off. Because it's always some uneducated, no degree having person trying to tell somebody who went, paid the money, sacrificed the days and times to get the degree, you gonna come back and try to, uh, you know, call a dirt move. First of all, Evelyn, did you even finish high school? Because she had your baby relatively young. Did you finish high school? And as somebody said, all the money, the money that has came to you has been based on you laying on your back. Because every man you've been with is a high profile player. Granted, you know, you got some money from this basketball wise ordeal, but how did you get on basketball wise? You had to be connected to a player. Yeah, you had your store. You had your store, but um, it didn't work out. And then when people say they went to go, you know, shop in their hair, they couldn't afford it because it was a high end store. They said the most they can buy was earrings and, and, and some accessories. That was it. And they said even then the earrings was like $25. Some they said some ridiculousness. So you know that store didn't last long because wasn't nobody shopping in there because the regular folks couldn't afford it. Tell about you pay, you know, you had to pay for Shanice and put her through college and all that. Yeah, with other people's money. Because trust me, her ex husband her ex-fiance, the first one, she um I'm sure she got some of his money, and he had financial woes, too. And then, you know, the whole Chad Ochocinco stuff, I'm sure she got some money through there. And then she got a baby by this Carl. So she got child support coming in for little Carl. So don't tell me. Don't tell me. I just hate when people do that. Stop knocking people who did go to school. And she didn't say, she didn't say what jobs you do. She said, I just like to go up on your job since they talking about her career and her livelihood. That's what she was saying. If you stop to look, she didn't never say what jobs you guys got. She just said, I want to go on you guys' job then. So, you know. You know, Evelyn's back on basketball wise because nothing is cracking. They pulled her show from own. You know, that got dropped. She got money from there, I guess. But um, yeah, what do you have going on? And then you was trying to get another baby. You know, you was trying to get another baby. I guess that would, you know, gave you more money to have and child support. So spare me, Evelyn. Spare me. You know, I'm all about supporting women. I'm not an advocate for abuse. I'm not an advocate for people cheating. But, you know, you, you need to be humble and sit down. You know, and you are evil. And you are mean. I'm sorry. I, I yeah. And I don't like how... How you doing, Tammy? And I don't like um, how you letting Jennifer slide. I don't care for Jennifer. I think she's self-centered too. But I'm going to leave that alone. I'm done with it. She did the, apology, the fake apology so she could keep her spot on the basketball wise. But people really mad right now. They, they're just, they're just astound. You know? They just outraged right now. So... It is what it is. Moving along. Let's talk about some shows that are killing the game right now. Half and Half Knots, Queen Sugar, and Greenleaf. Greenleaf came back with their two-day uh, season premiere, and it is on and popping, baby. When I say them two episodes was on point, 
they was on point. So just to give an overview, they found Zora um, at a Roach Motel 10 miles away from the state line with um, well, Isaiah the player. That's what um, Lynette and Stanley on Rand and TV Reviews called him. So they found her, brought her back. She grounded. Um, Tasha Skank's pretty much trying to... Um, I think she's trying to uh, get Jacob to fall in love with her or be mesmerized by her. So that's why she's trying to, uh, she got the um, budget lady fired because she told him she should fire him. So Tasha Skank's trying to wiggle her way in. Uh, Miss Cross, played by Latoya Luckett. Uh, I know she's married now. I can't remember her last name. You know, she's trying, um, she trying to swing down on in with the bishop. Gigi's on to her, you know, so, and as well as uh, Corinne, Corinne, the secretary, they both in on Miss Cross, so, yeah. Um, May wants a divorce because um, Bishop done brought up her cheating, on, uh, cheating with Lionel, and um, Charity, and Car uh, Charity and Kevin pretty much fighting over the baby. Kevin's back. He wants to have you know, his time spent with the baby and Charity is saying no and, and Kevin is threatening her not to go across state lines to take that baby back on tour, you know. But he had got a, a nice little place set up and everything and that damn Aaron came through the door. I said, why did you have Aaron? Aaron should stay got gone until, you know, Aaron coming in there with keys, bringing groceries and probably paying rent monies too. I bring groceries and rent money. That's what Carl Thomas said. And Carl Thomas, if you want to bring groceries and rent some money, come on over to my place. Lady, you in the way. What are you doing? So, yeah. So, Aaron coming there with, like, groceries and rent monies. So, um, that kind of um, hurt Kevin's chances for getting the baby at all. So, I don't know. And uh, what else is going on? Gigi trying to um, get Rick Fox to come to church with her. And I'm like, he got to know, with her being a woman, you know, of influence of the cloth, that she's going to want him some as a part of her life in church. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. He should just go and just be in the background or do something. Um, Zora's trying to get... Um, Sophia to help her out. I mean, Zora's so desperate to talk to Isaiah. Hell, she want to get a damn flip phone. She trying to reach out to him through the TV, and they got that restricted. So, she just need to leave Isaiah alone. It's 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 just not good. Just you know, cause she's abusing bad of woman. It's just not you know good, and she's young. And you know, I don't know where people get this thing of. Oh, you know, I, you know, hit you, and that's okay. That's just never, it's just never, never, never okay. It's never okay. So, not okay. Give me one second. It's not okay. Yes, can I have an egg McMuffin sandwich and a medium Coke? That's it. Personal, thank you. It is cracking over here. But yeah, the show's been good. Um, the haves and have nots. Um, that's been um these shows been cracking. I'm telling you, I said, damn these reality shows because these scriptures these scripted shows are um are, are killing the game right now so you know i haven't even been watching um love and hip-hop but i heard that um what was that um a1 and Lyr little lyrica then got back together apparently she supposed to be pregnant i guess in real time so yeah i haven't even been watching it. i've been so busy i'm tired you know like i said school started this week and it's just crazy 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 so um yeah, I'm happy it's Friday. Um, tomorrow is September 1st. This is Labor Day weekend. I'm just going to go with the flow and um, see what happens out here in these um, 
these um, streets, as they say. Um, one thing I said I need to get done this weekend is get some rest, get my hair done, and do some laundry. Everything else, we can go with the flow. So that is it. That is all. Like, comment, subscribe. I am going to review the Bobby Brown story. It's going to um, be a two-night um, premiere next week on Tuesday and Wednesday, so that's September the 4th and September the 5th. I am going to do a review on that since I did do a review on um, New Edition, so um, look forward to that. Um, you know, I'm still doing my Insecure view, um, uh, reviews. Somebody have requested for me to do a What's in My Bag video. Um, that should be coming forth, so I'm just waiting for the dust to settle with this um, school starting, and I'm teaching one class this semester. Normally I have two, but they done cut me down for one. They messing with the church's money. And um, yeah, I'm doing some cross country meets. So that's coming up in October, but yeah, that is it. That is all. Stay tuned for more videos. Mm -hmm.